Sippin' Shop Season 2 has begun. Oh! I am your host, Andrea Phil with the Bailey back on the scene. What is she doing? Oh, she's about to explain it. Mm-hmm, because we're on Facebook Live and Q Vision. Yes! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I missed you all. I did. I missed you all. It's been far too long. But we're back as your Saturday beauty break, your Saturday refresher, your Saturday check in. You know who I am. You know, your host, Andrea Fairweather Bailey. And there's the voice. What's up, y'all? We back. In the wings. Eddie on the one, too. Yep. Oh my gosh. There is so much, so much to catch up on. Connect. I want to know how you're doing, how you're feeling, how you've been. Man, but you know, family, how we start this thing. Get your libations. Let's have a drink, right? And toast this day. What a glorious day. We're in New York. Where are you? Where are you looking from? Oh, lots to talk about. Your girl is doing a green juice. I'll explain everything. Okay, y'all. So you know how we do it. <sighs> Thank you for being here. Thanking you for choosing to experience this moment with us. Thank you for waking up and health and being in your right mind. Right. and Right? Being right. able to... Um, just love and be and choose and all of that. And we hope that you're choosing a healthy libation with us. Um, let's salute to all of you and to us for coming together in this moment and opening up season two of Sip and Shop. Mm. Mm. Oh, I made it a little, a little on the thick side. Yeah. But that's good because it's fiber, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, this is going to be hard to get down, but you know what? I need it. The fiber. Eddie's yeah. drinking his as well. Let me tell you what's in this. And there's a specific reason why I chose this today. This is just a version of my green juice. It is an orange juice base with dates i put about i wanted it to be a little sweeter so i put about five dates in it right for sweetness and fiber extra fiber um sprouts right green sprouts i did three celery stalks today a dash of lemon um minced ginger some minced ginger to give it a little kick for the um immunity and what was the other thing oh i did like one stalk of collards one stalk of kale you know just to juice it up more blended it all together and here we go right? right but there's a specific reason why i chose this green and i chose to welcome you into my garden because y'all this is springtime it is time to manifest mm -hmm. it is time to celebrate mm -hmm. just like last season we're gonna bring it into this we don't wait we celebrate and green right the color of newness the color of um vibrancy color of creativity all of that and also a celebratory color because guess what <laughs> i'm celebrating early <laughs> i'm not wait i'm celebrating it is my birthday weekend Woo! Monday is my birthday. It is. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to ring it in. Why, why wait, right, for me to then go into next week and celebrate it? So I said, hey, you know, shouldn't we just do it on the 3rd? My birthday is on the 5th. And he said, babe, let's do it. So let's do it. Right? Let's do it. Take another toast to me. Mm -hmm. Please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Which brings us to our new segment that we're doing. One of the new segments for Sip and Shop is... At the start of every month, we're going to celebrate all the birthdays out there. Yes! So I'm going to read the horoscope. Mm. Aries. Oh, what a fire. 
fire sign, right? Once you get it into balance, it's all good. But before then, good luck, y'all. So, you know, Aries is from March 21st through April 19th. And so it says, once a year, Aries rises to the top just for being Aries. Hmm. The rest of the time, you put in the effort to get there and stay there. That is definitely true to maintain. Enjoy your moment with the sun, Ram child. You'll be working hard till you're pushing up daisies. Really? Till I'm pushing up daisies? That does sound like me. I'll be pushing till I rest. Till I rest. So there you go. So are there any Aries uh, or even March birthdays out there? Anyone I need to give a specific birthday shout out to? I will do it now. Anyone, Ed? One word. Moving on. <laughs> Anyone with Aries birthdays, March or April birthdays out there? Was my cousin Cassie shout to her? Oh, Cassidy, my yeah. sister, who just celebrated a birthday. Yes, that's Aries. Yeah, that's yes, right. birthday. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. I'm on the comments too. So. Okay. You know, Eddie is doing triple. How about quadruple? Right. Duties. Okay. So, um. Like I said, this is, you know, it was a joke at first, like with the whole, you know, floral and I want to welcome you into my manifestation garden. But literally, y'all, I do want to introduce back to you your opportunity now since it is spring and this is symbolic um, in the universe um, as a time to plant your seeds, literally. Um, plant your seeds of from your prayers, your visions, your wishes, literally plant them so that they can come forth in their due season. But you have to do something. It's an action. You can't just, you know, wish it and go, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish. So we're bringing back to you the journal. So hopefully you will write down your thoughts, your wishes. It's your private journal. Yeah. And we have a deal for you on it today. And just to share with you, you know, last time when I brought it in, last season, I took part in it with you as well. And I wrote in the journal, and I wrote some things, I'll be straight with you, that I thought were a bit far-fetched. I thought that, you know, I do believe in miracles, and I do believe in asking the universe specifically for what you want. But you don't know the time in which it can happen if it does happen. You just have to have faith and believe. So I wrote in it, and I was like, you know, I'm... It didn't take long, y'all. It didn't take long. And all I could do is just be in bewilderment of the way the universe works and that it did happen. I was specific. I did get exactly what I wanted, but guess what? It was better than what I thought it would, would be. It was absolutely better. So please consider getting the journal. There's a deal on it. I will explain it a little bit later. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm always trying to look out for y'all. Let's jump into this from one of our favorites last season. Let me take another drink. What are you guys drinking? Anything healthy? Hmm? Ed? No, I was drinking the same thing you're drinking. Okay. No, I'm just saying, like, is anyone commenting or anything? Karen has a, Karen Robinson has a birthday. Give a shout out. Oh, yeah, Karen. How are you, darling? Yes, yes. Avid supporter of Sip and Shop and Fair Weather Faces. And Karen did, you know, Karen Robinson is one of those that took a chance and followed the face chart and showed us the aftermath of her following the color-coded system. And it was spectacular yep. spectacular which warmed my heart to show me again that you know the color-coded system is a winner it really is it's a winner and again the color-coded system is a patented system that I created a number of years ago in order to show everyone how to create my celebrity looks it's a step-by-step -step concept simply match the color-coded makeup brush to the dot on the face chart it's like a paint by numbers for your face and you're able to create on the go or at home all of my celebrity looks. And Karen slammed it out the park, as a number, as well as a number of you have. Right. So Eddie, let's get into it. Um, 
What are you watching? May I come closer and make a suggestion? Thank you. I will. Mm. I better stop doing that. <laughs> this is, yo, this has been like my new thing with this. Mm. I can't, my vocal cords. I can't, I, okay. Remember last time we were like, good day. Okay, still is good day. But now this mm, has come in, girl, okay. <sighs> First up, mm, a very interesting show that um, Eddie found on, what is it, baby? HBO Max. It's called CB Strike. There you go. CB Strike is like a uh, a modern day Sherlock Holmes. It's a, a British, it's actually a British TV series. But it's really good. It's, it's really good. It's a modern day Sherlock Holmes. This guy, his name is his name is CB Strike, and uh, you know he solves cases. He solves these murder cases. And this is a good TV series to watch if you don't want to watch something that's too dark, but you still want to watch a crime drama. But not a very. It's not like uh, Ozark or Breaking Bad or Sopranos. It's not that dark. It's a little bit more lighthearted. So. It's a good series to watch. And it's a thinking series. Yeah, yeah. It, It's a thinking, and it keeps you captivated. And also, you know what was interesting behind the scenes on that one? J.K. Rowling, it's her show, but she wrote it through a man's name because she wanted to test to see if it would get picked up. Right. So she had to hide. Can you imagine that? And it worked. So she's getting her credit. Right? right, but only those I guess that knew that were on the team knew that it was her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really really good show. Um, next up, ooh, this one was, y'all, this one was a tough one for me. White Tiger. Mm -hmm. I, you know, for some reason I innately wasn't going to watch it at first, but then one night Eddie was like, "Babe, let's watch it," and I was like, "Really? Oh, okay." And my friend, I think Val and Janetta from GMA, because mm -hmm. we're like the crew that studies films shows suggests it to each other and then we'll you know come together in a huddle and discuss it right. but this one white tiger i wasn't sure about it but when we started it's about ed you want to explain this one again so white tiger is about um uh, an indian uh man who is in a caste system he's locked mm -hmm. into this caste system mm -hmm. he's locked into uh this kind of uh even below working class it's like a servant class and he gets up. You, you know what? It, it's kind of like, in ways, it's kind of like the Indian version of Parasite. If you've seen Parasite, this Korean film that just won an Oscar last year, it's kind of like the Indian version of that. Uh, but it's, it's really good. It's shot real well. Um, and it's just a good story about uh, rich and poor and how, you know, uh, desperate one can be when you don't have anything. It's, it's on Netflix. It's called White Tiger. It's, and the twist... Twist is dope. The twist, y'all, check it out. And it's like, it, it, you know what though? It, but it has a little uh, uh, a, a comedic feel to it as well. Um, I didn't get that. Yeah, it does. It's kind of like a dark humor there. Um, so, super dark. I mean, I could see what you say yeah, about it, like but I wouldn't. I wouldn't take that away from it. It was. But 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 the dark humor kind of added to it because you know the. Uh, the uh, the content um, is so serious mm. that it kind of needed that kind of natural dark humor that kind of goes with that world to to make you feel good about it. But it was a I'm telling you that's that's a movie I definitely suggest. Okay. Yeah, it was something else. And then finally we come to ooh this one, <sighs> the father, oh, yeah. Anthony Hopkins. That was a serious one for a number of reasons. If you have anyone, loved ones that are dealing with um, the mental illness of dementia, mm -hmm. Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. it's cleverly done, smartly done in a way that turns it on its head for you to go into the world of the sufferer. Yeah, the person with the dementia and how, and how that person thinks. Yeah. So it was crazy because like sometimes you'll be thinking one way and then the other time you'll be thinking another way and it's it's good to see it from that perspective. It, you know. It was deep. It was deep. Um, it makes you have a little bit more compassion for those people because that, yo, 
that was that was a, a little bit of a mind twist, but it's it's, it's well done. It's not too over. It's not so uh, depressing that you don't want to watch it. It's you know just hang in there too. It's like, well balanced. It's well balanced, but it's it's thorough and the yeah. acting is absolutely superb. And I'm gonna tell you right now. If Anthony Hopkins doesn't get the Oscar for this, and I said it to my friend Val, if he doesn't get the Oscar for this, I'm done with the Oscars. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking. Like, I don't even care to see the other performances. I just... Mm, check it out. The Father. So, I may switch some things around, because you know I have my notes, but this is like an improv. It's a free-for-all, and I got to move by the spirit. Let me take a little sip. Any thoughts or comments or questions out there, Ed? No, not yet. Okay. Uh, yeah, you still have some people watching. You got Greg Janela watching. Greg! That is my partner in crime at GMA. Greg and I have been working together. Ooh, it's been a minute now. It's been a minute. Uh, Greg is a master celebrity hairstylist, and we work together in unison to make magic happen. You got Dorinda Bagwell watching. Yes, Dorinda, who is in charge of Q Vision, the content director, the one that pulled us on board to make it happen. And just to let you know, although we are streaming live from Facebook Live today, daily, each weekday at high noon, like it is high noon here today, you can watch us sip and shop on, Ro on Roku, um, what is it, Amazon Fire Stick, right. through Q Vision. You got to sign up, y'all. Q Vision is it's free. It's a free flat platform that has all this goodness on it. And another part of the goodness is us. Right. It's Sip and Shop. So on Q Vision each weekday at high noon, you can check us out there. Um. Oh, let me tell you something cute that's happening. Okay. So you know how um, everyone has had to become extremely creative during COVID to figure out because everything kind of, not kind of, flipped up on a dime, right? I was transparent with you. I told you that we did not have um, any business for six months. For me as an artist, that was felt like a lifetime because I'm an artist. I have to work. I have to stay current. And um, so it took six months before I was able to get back into the studio and start, you know, working on all these amazing faces. But before then, the idea had already started coming, right? But you know, I explained to you before that until I can actually see the vision, I can't really launch it until I have a better understanding of it. Well, the launch is on. The launch has already happened. If you go to fairweatherfaces.com and now there's a new bar, online events. We started first for next week folks have already started purchasing tickets thank you and that was without me even saying anything as of yet so i know that we have our viewership and our supporters um out there and i thank you in advance um for even purchasing any tickets any slots but there are various events that i've created some will bring you behind the scenes with me um with me working some will be private events one-on-ones yeah others will be group events and they're all based around makeup and different things that you've asked me for different specific tips that you need to get you through so they're there and we have an upcoming event at the end of the month that will be the big one right mm -hmm. the big online makeup demo um and yeah i'm just hoping that you will take advantage of that and that's just our new way to connect with you and it'll be online but it will be exciting it will be informative and it will be live demos and it's going to be really really good yeah. because i'm a different person i was telling eddie that whenever i do a makeup demo on sip and shop i see that i become this different person and that's okay right. because then i drop into instructor guide teacher mode right? Right, right and i take that very seriously and i'm proud of that so i will be bringing that um, persona to you on fairweatherfaces.com so please go check it out and what I've noticed is that in the comment section from those that have already purchased is that they're saying oh I'm doing this for myself to elevate my makeup skills oh I'm going to gift this to my sister oh my girlfriends are gonna come on with me either they're buying tickets for themselves or they're telling their girlfriends to um, purchase separately as a group um, 
stuff for weddings that some of the brides are going to attend, specific event mm -hmm. uh, geared towards the bride. So you never know what it is. It's like all you know these different amazing topics. I don't want to give them away, but I want you to go to fairweatherfaces.com, scroll down that list, and each week it's going to change. So know that each week the topics will change. So that's a good thing too. So we will be doing that. Mm. Okay. What are you reading? You know, I love a book. I love a feel of a book. I guess I'm old school like that. I, you know, there's one thing that I'm listening to the audio book on and I, and I appreciate it. And that's Eckhart Tolle's. Like when I'm in the morning doing my stretches, I will listen to Eckhart Tolle's The Power of Now and get, you know, the golden nuggets and gems while I'm doing my, um, my stretches. But honey, I'm old school. And when I saw that this book came out, I asked Eddie Ford, I was like, babe, can you please get it for me? And he did. And the one that we're showcasing today is this Cicely Tyson, just as I am in all her glory, rest in peace for all that this woman has done, but I gotta tell you something. I am holding on, I've been reading this book for a while now. I'm not a fast reader, right? I really like to take it in and savor it and feel the pages, ponder about what I've read, share it with Eddie, tell my friends and then move on. So I'm holding on and I probably will be done with it this weekend, but I'm really, I'm telling you, it's like saying goodbye to a good friend. But I just want to share with you, and I'm telling you all to get this book because it's inspirational for so many different reasons. I'm going to just share some things with you um, about this book, Cicely Tyson's Just As I Am. So, um, you know, she was married to Miles Davis, and she was a very healthy person, healthy eater, healthy in terms of her um mental state the way she took care of herself and to live for as long as she did into her 90s is um to behold mm -hmm. so something that stood out to me and if i may just read a little excerpt from it i take in two significant wellness strides both of which helped me restore my balance after losing my mom sometime in 1976 i went to a health spa where patrons were served only whole organic foods, all fruits and vegetables and natural grains, no animal products. When I left there after a week of following that program, the world looked different to me. My head was clear. Colors, smells, and sounds felt more pronounced. My memory improved. I felt organized. So on my own at home, I continued eating that way. I begin the day with a cup of fresh celery juice. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Celery. Followed by a serving of oatmeal, and I'm I'm just jumping around. Sometimes I just climb out of my bed with a bowl of oatmeal lentils and eat my vegetables raw, no dressing to speak of. I eat this way now, four decades later, and these days I also sometimes have fish and egg whites. The change has agreed with me, it seems. At age 96, I'm still kicking. Age 96, and as fabulous as Miss Tyson looked, I was like, there you go. So that was one of her secrets. Another diddly doodad that I'd like to share with you. It's... I don't want to give away the story so much in what happened in this particular, but just this one part was a little funny, the beginning of it. It turns out to be something else. Let me just warn you about that. But um, th this part was just a little funny, how she goes in this little gossip part. Mm. This is about Miles Davis. So he stared in the mirror at himself, primping over that hair of his, or at least someone's. Shade. His own hairline had been receding for years, 
and Miles, then in his early 60s, had taken to getting weeds. <laughs> Cicely Tyson, shadeologist. Shadeologist. It turns into something else, which I'm not laughing at, but the beginning of it was funny. And then finally, we're going to talk about like her exercising and, you know, she was big on also um, serving the community, right? Serving the community. So this is the final part. So she was at a gathering with Oprah and Stedman. And it goes, what do you do? Stedman said when, said when he saw me, sweeping me up in his arms, baffled that I never seem to age. It's all about the greens, my dear. Thrice daily, blended if you preferred, taken with a side of turmeric. I was thinking that's turmeric she, she uh, meant. I, I didn't so. even check. I guess that's the proper name. For yeah, it. yeah, probably. That along with bar pull-ups in my apartment and walks all over Manhattan, Manhattan keeps my body strong. My bar is right in the doorway of my master bedroom. Soon as I get up in the morning, I do three sets of 20 pull-ups. Good day! I, can't, I, don't, I don't know how many pull-ups I can do. Again, Cicely Tyson, just as I am. I love a good book. Baby, thank you again for yep. blessing me with it. 20 pull-ups, three sets of 20 pull-ups at the age of 96, you best to work. And rest in peace, Cicely Tyson, because she was an iconic woman and always will be um, in the history books for us. Let's get into some beauty deets, shall we? Mm-hmm. I know you see me um, pushing my little hat. This is my little birthday hat, right? I consider my crown, my birthday crown, but let's get into the deets, right? So, as Cicely Tyson was saying, um, and I didn't really mention it so much in the book, but she was really about service and there was a school named after her in Jersey, um, a performing arts school um, for the arts and just community service at a point, she became an honorary Delta, you know, again with the community service like um, Dorothy Hyatt. And I've been really blessed during COVID in the sense of community service virtually, right? Um, the Girl Scouts came and asked me to speak um, to them. I did. It was amazing. If you don't know, I was a Girl Scout for many years from the Brownies all the way through to the Cadets. And I still use a lot of my teachings, um, disciplines from the Girl Scouts. There's no way I know for certain. They're one of the reasons why I've been blessed in my walk so i thank them for that but then eddie and i have an amazing friend one of our brothers from church from emmanuel baptist church his name is joseph cooper you can find joseph cooper on facebook right and tell him that eddie and i sent you put him in the chat yeah right yeah and what was amazing was he asked one of the questions that i love um, Andrea, can you come online virtually and speak to our students for career day? Sure, sure. So from the school of the Brooklyn Community Arts and Media High School, I didn't even know that they existed. Arts and media, what a wonderful way to introduce students to the arts and also media to get them, you know, into the field. We need them, right? Mm -hmm. So I happily said, yes, absolutely, I would do it. So what I am doing, I am giving you hip hop chicness today, right? With my big old hoop earrings and my hoodie. So let me just sit up a little, a little bit. Black and beyond, sucker. That's what it is, how we're getting down. And this was the thank you from them for speaking to their students. And I wear it proudly. And I encourage any of you, if you are even interesting in, interested in speaking about your career, um, just give words of encouragement to the students. Please contact Joseph Cooper on Facebook um, for the Brooklyn, let me not get it wrong, the Brooklyn Community 
Community Arts and Media High School. Sent, tell him that Eddie and I sent you if you are interested at all. It's a powerful, powerful group. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, that online experience was masterful. They did not skip a beat. Mm -hmm. Nor did the Girl Scout. They are not playing yeah. online. Like really churning out from young business women. It's, it's fabulous and I'm so honored to be a part of it. So I wear my hoodie proudly with my hoops and then I get to my crown. This is my birthday crown, y'all. And this is called the Yoko Cuff. And it's by the company Essential. Let me spell it out for you. E-S-E-N-S-H-E-L. Essential. E-S-E-N-S-H-E-L. Essential. The designer is Rodney. Hit them up. DM them on Instagram. Go to the Instagram page and see all the delicious hats. I didn't know what to choose because I am a hat girl down. I always have been from like really getting into hats from like junior high. Right. And I just wanted to do something. I love the color is delicious. Like this rosy, rosy pink is fierce. And then you see the nails, right? The birthday nails that I had to do, right? But um, not to be matchy-matchy, but it was just a feel, y'all, right? And his stuff, when the box came, the craft, craftsmanship and presentation were masterful, superb. The hat is light, comfortable, right? Breathable, but fierce, right? So I'm giving you hip-hop, chic-esque, this yes and now let's get into the beauty the makeup ow this is where your deal comes in mm-hmm so we're hoping that you will manifest first with your journal right take a chance write down your thoughts your visions and go for it y'all don't assume that anything is too big too much too powerful, just go for it because you never know. I told you what happened with me. I wrote it down. I thought it was a bit far-fetched. It wasn't because it came back what I asked for, but better. So just go for it, y'all, right? The Fair Weather Faces Journal. You get this first, and then let's start from the eyes down. The eyeshadow that I'm wearing is the Fair Weather Faces Boho. A beautiful bronzy shimmer that I did a daytime like all around daytime smoke right very clean daytime smoke and I will of course if you purchase it I'll tell you how to wear it pop on the cheek most people like Eddie cares he's like go ahead babe do your thing thank you baby um forget about blush and the power of blush Blush is designed to just open you up to wake up that skin, right? And we're hoping that this spring you will take a chance on yourself. And this is a universal bristle blush that is featured in what is our bundle. And it's called YOLO. YOLO. I have been using this quite a bit on my clients. Um, for the past month and a half, I've been using it. Really amazing. If you've seen any of my work on Shahadi, right? Joseph, that doll, superstar, right? Get ready for her show, Them, that's getting ready to air soon on um, Amazon Prime, the new series. Everything that I've been doing on her, YOLO blush, got to do it. And um, lighter and darker complexions, everyone, YOLO blush is a universal pop of orange that just warms the skin and it'll melt into your skin it will look amazing it is not difficult to apply you cannot make a mistake with it right because it's just so transparent but you can also blend it it's very blendable right and today when i created my look i used the fair weather faces mini set so the mini set the 30 dollars set and then finally on the lips uh this one has been worn but because you know I've been wearing it, but it's called Peony. Mm -hmm. Ooh, look at that. Peony lipstick. 
gorgeous peony warms the skin yeah all complexions don't matter how light you are or how cocoa chocolate 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 tea dark you are it doesn't matter it's designed to warm all skins it is um designed to give a pop to those lips it's not too much but it's like just enough and this is moist extremely creamy and considered a high gloss product because it gives a nice sheen naturally so that's why we deem it a high gloss sheen product so you can get all of these the whole bundle on the site it's there for you now if you're interested get it for yourself if you can get a treat and just so so the the balance is there you you'll be able to recreate my look and also start to manifest with your journal right get everything going with the journal and then finally at the end this is not included in it but i used the mini sprite and i just did mm, mm, two squirts the beauty of using the using the mini spray or even the full it's just the setting spray is it immediately gives a cast of a glow to the skin so that's why it's not difficult like when you use the blush or you use your contour and you're like i hope the blending is right if you set with the spray the mini or the full size at the end just two pumps is going to set the skin give it that glow so it doesn't look like marks or demarcations on the skin it just evens it out for you and gives like a flawless finish and not just that but this sucker will last up to like eight ten hours even longer somebody's asking what's a bundle the bundle is a bunch of products that i pull together specifically pull together for you and then you get it as a package that's our bundle and so the bundle deal is there and it's called spring beauty the manifest bundle and it's there at fair weather faces thanks for asking that was a great question uh-huh eddie how am i doing good good we're almost at 12 45. really yeah i thought i was gonna go like super super long and when i got through Three, two, practically everything okay another new thing coming today actually whole new vision that came to us so you know how we have all of the amazing um interviews from last season where we were able to platform some people that have been through my life through you know just different um meetings from grade school high school training just different um people that i felt that should be platformed you need to know them well we are going to do a twist on it as we still have that where we're going to interview uh -huh. right do selected interviews but there's a special segment now and it's called what are you doing uh -huh. and what are you doing is a specific platform that will showcase those that are in the community that need to be highlighted that need to be brought to your attention that are doing good work to uplift those in the community that may not get their light, that may not get their flowers now, that may not be um, sung. Right. The song may not be sung for them, but we're going to sing for them and give them their praise now because they need it and champion them and applaud them and support them um, through their community service, their organizations. And we debuted today, and it's actually going to start immediately following our debut of season two for Sip and Shop. So if you stay on, you'll be able to see it. And she's a powerhouse. I'm saying female, so you know now, powerhouse. And I think you'll be moved. I think you will be moved by the piece. I know I was. Yeah. Eddie was as well yeah. um, with the editing. And... What else, babe? Anything? Anyone want to say anything to me? Anything at all? Everyone's being so quiet. What's going down? Tracy Grunchy says she's getting hers. Yay, Tracy! Do you all know Tracy's platform? On Facebook, Tracy Runcy's platform is called I'm a Good Thing. Because when a husband, a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And Tracy was called, she had a vision a number of years ago to create a platform for women 
who are married, right? Or just to inspire those that want to be married and we go on and we get tips to stay encouraged, to keep moving forth. We pray for our husbands on there and Tracy has a powerful, amazing, inspiring platform. Please sign up um, and, and join them and, and tell your friends because we all need encouragement. Mm -hmm. You know, um, marriage isn't the easiest thing. It's a great, amazing thing when you partner um, with someone and you have the vision together, but it's not easy like anything else. It's ebb and flow. And so to have a platform like I'm a good thing is, is amazing. And speaking of platforms, again, we want you to know that you can watch us daily on Q Vision. Sip and Shop is shown daily on Q Vision, noon, weekdays at high noon. And we want you to sign up for everything that we do. Go to our YouTube page, Facebook, and this is under Fair With The Faces. Fair With The Faces on YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn. We need the numbers up, y'all. We need for you to like us. Let us know what it is that you want me to talk about. If there's any special demos that you need to see or just any platform events that you want, please let me know. Possibly if there's someone that you would like to see featured, right, in the community that you think that should be platformed on what are you doing, let me know. Or someone else, some entertainer or just someone that you don't have... Um, that seems untouchable to you that possibly we can get through to to spotlight them on our platform let us know right. but it's really important that you interact with us so we know how to move this thing along but again in partnership with q vision which is huge it is a free platform but you need to sign up so you go to roku right you sign up and they have it's not just us but uh, sip and shop but there's so many different experiences on there dj ceo eddie luisi that does prayers on sunday it's like it's a community of powerfulness on q vision and we want you to be there along with us yeah and experience that so go and make sure you watch us every day on the weekdays q vision at high noon yeah Everyone, any other comments, Ed? Any? That's it. Okay. That's it. Let us all do our final toast. Mmm. Right? I'm doing green juice. Eddie is as well. That's right. Hope you are choosing always a powerful, clean, healthy libation. Right? Because your body is your temple. And we thank you all. Mmm. Thank you all for sharing this time with us. Thank you for coming back and experiencing Sip and Shop Season 2. That's a tongue twister. Experiencing Season 2 of Sip and Shop. If I was in Mr. Abeson's, Mr. Abeson's acting class, um, um, Andrea, Sip and Shop, Sip and Shop, Sip and Shop. Roll off the tongue. Sip and Shop, Sip and Shop, Sip and Shop Season 2. Coming to you from Roku Vision. Yes. Let's take our final toast. Mm-hmm. You know how we get down with this. Sip and Shop Season 2. The opener is done. I am done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, get, you get a do over. Go ahead. Back in your... Back in your face on the floor, hitting my toes. You all pray for me. I want to have an amazing birthday. Walk into this thing um, with blessings, encouragement, focus, faithfulness. I'm wishing the same thing for you. I want to say happy birthday to all the March and Aries um, and April Aries babies out there. We stand strong. You know how we get down. That ram is powerful and that fire is hot. Let's do this. And each month we will celebrate all of you with your birthday. So make sure when it's your birthday, you tell your friends to come on. Because we want to do those live shout outs. And I thank you again. Thank you for allowing us back in. Right, Ed? Thank you right. all. Thank you all. I love you so much. And I'll see you next week on High Noon Sip and Shop. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is a new computer, and Mother is not sure what to do. Eddie, would you please turn it off because she's not certain. There it is. Good day. Bye, y'all.